What's up everybody, welcome to Starbound. So I just picked this game up and I figured it would be kind of fun to check out a little something something. And so yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about this game. I have 35 different friends that have all played it. I asked probably only five of them what they thought. They all said good things. So I'm gonna hit this randomized button and look right at you without looking anywhere else and then I'm just going to stop. And I am a weird blue man with a beak. Show clothing. My name is Sa Sactal. That's not right, I'm gonna do this again. Where it stops, you'll know before me, kind of. Zyakael, no, it's too Russian. T Talal, that's, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do survival. Nope, nope. Uh, we don't need an intro, even though it would be kind of cool. Eh, I'll cut it, whatever. Bring it on. Let's get it started. So let's go. Let's see what the game has to offer. Because I have a feeling I'm going to like this game. Whee! Okay, so that was the, uh... That was that. So that's done, and now I'm in a ship. All that really happened there, hold on. All that really happened there was I graduated from college and then an octopus came and said, hey, you would stop it. And then he ripped apart everything, murdered everybody and I left. It was all very, very normal, pretty standard stuff. I also picked a flower that keeps trying to go in my head and I don't want it there. So I'm gonna sell it because I'm cool. Um, I'm just gonna get ready to go down to the surface, I guess. How do I get this in my, yeah, that's right. Get out of my inventory or I'll run you over. Where'd that dirt go? What happened to the dirt? Where'd I put that dirt? Bam. Oh, it works now, okay. Oh, how did I do that? Oh, E undoes it. I understand. Give me this. All right, so now I get to figure out what I need to do. Where am I going? I'll do it. Uh, we're in orbit and we can't go anywhere. So the only thing to do is get supplies. This is very No Man's Sky-esque, if I do say so myself. And I did play the game. Well, that's right, I can't go anywhere yet, so I might as well take some food. Oh, I see, it actually organizes my backpack. Cool! One second. So the bandage is way better than the solve. 50, 50 health over 10 seconds. 50 health over one second. Yeah, this is way not as good, I think. And then we have a flashlight, which we will take. And I will put somewhere. Oops. Oh, I didn't drop it. I thought I dropped it for a second. All right, hold on. I'm still figuring this out. Don't judge me. Onward! Oh, you beam me up. Oh, and you like threw me down like a slam dunk. I'm going up like Billy Joel. This is a lot like Terraria. Except it's spacey. I got copper. Just like Terraria. Except I'm in space. Well, I can dig it, because I'm all about these space exploration games. I'm a sucker for them when they're good. I don't quite understand how I'm doing this, and I guess there's a monster over there. What am I doing right now? Oh, it worked. I didn't think that was going to work. Don't you do it. Hey, you back off. Spam ya. Boom. Right in your heart. You didn't need to die, but you were a jerk, so you had to die. Oops, 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 stop. I'm gonna have, you gotta give me a, some time with these controls. I'll learn it. I'll learn everything. Whee! Oh! <laughs> I 
should not be in control of this poor man. Oh, hi. Four. I want to harvest you for death. Yeah. I'm going to harvest that thing so much. Oh, ow. I keep doing that. Where I do that thing where I do. And then I almost kill myself. I'm really good at it, let me tell you. What's in here? There's some pretty cool stuff. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but it's like right up there. Hopefully you can see that. If not, um, I'll just look like an idiot. But I'm going to get it. I want to check it out. Nail it. What is this? What are you? Oh, I got I got six pixels. Sixels. Sixels my pixels. More pixels. Neat. Uh, I keep putting torches on everything. Stop it. The world will see my light. Unfortunately, I won't, because I'm just going to put it in one cave and leave it alone forever. I wonder how I get beamed up by Scotty. Stop. <laughs> well, it's a, I mean, it's a good thing I'm not, I don't have, like, blocks or something in the first spot. I should really make it my sword, though, so I don't do it. But I think I'll be fine for now. Oh, hello, cute monster man. You're not going to hurt me, are you? Oh, you're cool. Good. I don't want to kill you anyways. You're too much. Don't put the torch down. Nailed it. <sighs> My legs. My goodness. I need to quit doing that. Almost this instant. Like, as right away as possible, I need to stop destroying my legs. It's so easy. You just get so excited that there's a big hole that you can jump into. Next thing you know, you're flying down into it and you have no health. I'm almost out of band-aids already. That's not good. I'm just picking up everything. Eventually, stuff will be useful. I imagine the idea was Terraria was great, but it was very, very confined, and the idea of going to different planets is one that you can basically take the world of Terraria and um, just kind of make it your own, but at the same time, if you are the nomadic type, you don't need to make it your own. You can just move on and continue your journey throughout, you know, a, a, I don't know how like, expansive the game is, but a seemingly endless number of, uh, of planets across the galaxy, which would be kind of cool. It's, it's definitely worth putting my time into. I do like these styles of games. If I can just... Uh, give me up there. Give me up there. Give me that coal. I think this is coal. I think I've learned something by now. If I haven't, I don't know what I'm doing in my life. It is coal. I am learning. I'll be the best before I know it. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Music? Music? Is there something you're not telling me? Like I've made a terrible, just, just awful mistake trying to come down here. So far, everything seems tame. Man, this game is so much easier to play. And I'm speaking versus Terraria. I've played it on the uh, the Xbox back when it first came out. And it was just very, very difficult to try and aim everything. Man, with the keyboard and mouse, definitely better for this type of game. Definitely better. My goodness. Can I have this? Because I, I want this. <gasps> I can have this. Throwing bones. I got some bones. Oh, I learned how to craft throwing bones. Did I make them? I didn't make them. I did now. Oh, you actually have to be there for the crafting. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Interactive crafting. Get me the hell out of this hole. <laughs> D 
Damn it. <laughs> Foiled again. I'm gonna get my stuff, I'm gonna build a small hut, and I'm gonna call it a part. Actually, I don't even think I need to build a hut. I just need to get the hell off this island with my stuff. And I was that close. <laughs> Next time we'll go find that archaic energy source. Or something. It sounds like fun. <sighs> Alright, everybody. Um, I just kind of took the liberty of taking about a half hour, yeah, to go gather a bunch of materials and just kind of make myself a cozy little house and shed. So, um, yeah, so that's it. Next time, I think we'll. I'll gather a few more materials here and there, minerals, that kind of stuff, uh, for the next time. But we're going to go get that archaic energy. There is a lot to this game, and um, I think I'm going to like it. I think I'm going to like this game. I love this style. I really do. I really wish I would have gotten into Terraria, and I'm kind of happy I didn't, because now, from what I can tell, this is, this is going to be a good time. So see you all next time.